I'm sure you've already used breakpoints in Xcode. But did you know that breakpoints also come with powerful advanced features? So let's not waste any time and discover some of them. If you double click on a breakpoint, you get access to a few new options. First, you can write a condition that will decide when the breakpoint should trigger. Here, the breakpoint will only trigger if the property counter has a value strictly greater than 1. Then, you can also set the number of times a breakpoint will be ignored. This can sometimes be very helpful, for instance, if you have to debug a pull to refresh mechanism and you want to ignore the initial network call. Finally, you can set actions that will be executed when the breakpoint triggers. Here, I'm setting an action that will write the value of the property counter to the console. And this is a nice way to add logs to your app without needing to rebuild it. You could even configure the breakpoint so that it only prints the log to the console and no longer stops the execution of the program. And these are the advanced features of breakpoints I wanted to show you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to learn more about breakpoints, you can click on the two videos that will appear in a few seconds. Thank you for watching and see you next time.